that, that you've done something wrong. But I do want to go to the Word very quickly and see what the Word has to say about this. In Romans chapter 13, and uh, one verse, verse 8. Now, we've read this before, and you've read this before. And I want to clear up some confusion from the Word of God and different things. It says here, it says, O oh, no man anything but to love one another. He that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Now, I've heard people say, well, in context, what he's talking about is taxes. The verbiage that he's dealing with is more than taxes. Uh, when he says, oh, no man anything, that word in the Greek, it means to, to literally, it means to be in debt to no one. All right, it, mean, it means to be a bond, to go bond for no one. All right, now it also means not to be delinquent. All right, so a lot of ministers, I've heard ministers say, well, you know, that word means not to be delinquent on your bills. Well, it does mean that, but you can't take away what else it means. Words mean what they mean. Do you understand that? So he says, owe no man anything but to love one another. One translation says the only debt that is to remain outstanding is the debt of love. All right? Now, the Amplified Bible says, keep out of debt and owe no man anything. Hallelujah. Now, I can teach this along these lines. Because Paul doesn't say here, thus saith the Lord, owe no man anything. But the fact that it's in the Bible in such strong language is a pretty good indicator that it's a good idea to owe nobody anything. Hallelujah. Do you see that? The CEB translation says, don't be in debt to anyone. The CEV says, let love be your only debt. The easy to read version says you should not owe anything to anyone. The Phillips translation says keep out of debt altogether. Hallelujah. And Young's literal says to no one owe anything. Again, I'm not saying it's sinful, but I am saying this. The word owe means to be under obligation or to be indebted. Now, there are three basic reasons why we should not be in debt. Number one, people take God's money to pay their bills. Amen. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Many, many, many years ago, because remember when I told you, I said, I went into my bedroom and I opened to Malachi chapter 3 and I said, okay, this is not working. And I know you're not the problem. I must be the problem. Right? Do you remember one time when I told you the rest of the story and what the Lord said to me? He said, the reason why that is not working is is because you borrow your tithe when you think you need it more than I do. And when you think you're running short in a month, you'll borrow your tithe to make up the difference. And I cannot consistently bless you because you won't consistently tithe. Well, there are people that do that. Not, I'm, not you. I know it's not you. But there are people that do that. They look at what they have to owe, what they owe, and they look at what they normally give to God, and they don't cut the cost. They cut what they were going to give to God in half. And, and that's why that's so dangerous. Amen. Number two, 
Look at Proverbs 22, 7. The borrower is servant to the lender. Isn't that what it says? You become a servant to whoever you owe. I've had people disagree with me, but then I, I've asked them, okay, if you have a note on your car, can you just choose not to pay that note? You can't, right? They'll come and get their car. Amen. I, isn't that interesting? I always thought that was interesting that, that people would say, well, this is my car, but yet his name. I don't even have the title because it's not my car. Now, again, if you, if you finance a car, I'm not beating you up. I'm just, I'm using that as an example. This is why God is against owing large sums of money. Amen. Number three. How can we be a blessing to others when we have nothing left over at the end of each month? I always tell people, if you're not in debt, you need to pray seriously about going into debt. If you're not into debt and the opportunity comes, the opportunity, the opportunity comes up to go into debt, you need to seriously pray about, is that what you need to do? Amen. I've had people come to me and say, well, I don't see any other way to do this but to go into debt. There's always another way. There's always another way. Amen. Are you following me? But I've got to look for it. Well, Pastor, what if I'm in debt and, you know, I didn't know any better or, or whatever the case may be? God will bring you out of debt. I say, God will bring you out of debt. See, tell your neighbor, God will bring you out. And tell him, say, the same faith that brought you out is the same faith that will keep you out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see that? Look, look, look at Job 42. Glory to God. And here's, here's what I want you to understand. You know, I'll, I'll talk about being debt free and, and, you know, what the Lord dealt with us about. And somebody will come to me and they'll talk to me about what they're going to do. And they'll say, now, I know you don't believe in debt. Listen, I, I, I want you to get that out of your mind. If, if you, listen, if you're, if you're going to go down tomorrow and finance something, nobody's mad at you. It's, listen, nobody's going to think less of you. Here's what I'm trying to explain to you. I need to pray about that. Lord, I see what your word says. You've warned me about debt. And, and Proverbs, I've got a whole list of scriptures from Proverbs that warns us about being in debt. Amen. It says, it says this, do not be one of those that strikes hands. It says, do not be that person. Well, Pastor, I was talking about cosigning. Cosigning is just debt. It's just debt spelled backwards. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I mean, it just is. If you cosign for somebody, you're responsible. Amen. Do you see that? Let me hurry. Job 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends, and the Lord gave Job had before amen God is able to give you the double amen when we're dealing with God we're dealing with a supernatural God and he can do supernatural things in your finances amen did do you understand that say it out loud I have a supernatural God who can do supernatural things in my finances? You may look at your bills and at your debt and say, I don't see any way of getting out. I got an answer for you. The iron swam. When it did not look like we could be debt free, what I kept reminding myself of is that iron axe head swam. 
It was not supposed to swim. It was impossible for it to swim. Iron doesn't float, but Pastor Tony, that iron floated. It came to the top and swam to the shore. Amen. I'm helping you. There are people all over in the body of Christ. There was a woman in Pastor Bill Winston's church that, 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 that looked at her account online. And there was a huge deposit in her account. Huge. And she called the bank. And she said, i got to talk to you about my account. They said, what about it? She said, I've got a lot more money than I'm supposed to have. And they looked at it and they said, no, it's your money. She I'm sorry, but it's your money. There's no mistake. It was not. All, all these things are right. Amen. She went to Pastor Bill and she said, Pastor, what do I do? They put this money in my account and it's not my money. What do I do? He said, spend it, girl. <laughs> Pay your bills. Spend it. Amen. Do, do you understand? If we truly believe that the wealth that the wicked has been storing up is for us, position to receive it. Amen. Are you following me? Never look at the debt that you owe or the bills that you owe and think impossible. Those are just numbers. They don't amount to a hill of beans where God is concerned. God can change those numbers in a matter of moments. If you'll hang in there and do what he's telling you to do, you can be in debt this week and out of debt in six months if you'll just believe God can bring you out. Amen. Let, let me finish with this. Let me finish with this. And I realize I'm in the ministry, and, and I realize people help with these things, and sometimes that's the mindset that people have. God has proven something to me. When he asked, and I've proven this over the last, when did we come out of debt? 2010? 12? So it's been, what would that be, four years? Been totally debt free? And the Lord has proven something to me. He has proven to me that every. He has proven to me that there's nothing that I cannot get enough cash to pay for. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Do you realize this ministry, this ministry, in not, not in a couple years apart, we, we bought and paid for the first transportation project to get Pastor Michelle back and forth to Arkansas last year. September of last year, we finished that up. How much was that? Twenty some odd thousand dollars, right? Twenty three thousand dollars. Amen. Now that's September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Here we are, April. Seven months. Seven months later, we paid twenty eight thousand dollars cash for another transportation project. Cash money. Are you following me? Amen. It, God can do it. Amen. God can do it. That's over, that's over $50,000 that God provided in less than a year. Now, yes, people gave into that and people blessed the ministry. But here's the point. It was the faith that was being operated that caused the money to come to be able to do it debt free. If you will exercise your faith, how many days a week are faith days? Every day is a faith day. And you get up and you put your faith on those bills. And you put your faith on that list that you have. And you call them gone in Jesus' name. And you lay your hands on them and you tell them to dematerialize, cease to be, be cast into the sea in Jesus' name. What will begin to happen? Faith will begin to go into the of the unseen that you can't see with your natural eye and it will begin to procure for you the riches that are already there that are accruing to your benefit in your heavenly account right now in Jesus name Go. you're not broke you're not poor you're not without you have more money in your heavenly account than you have ever dreamed about 
because every time you put a seed in the ground, it starts multiplying, and it's multiplying in your heavenly account, and it's multiplying to the point that it's going to produce in your life self-sufficiency where you will require no aid or support, and you'll be able to give in to every good work. You'll be able to buy people cars, buy people houses, pay their bills off, bless their family. Send their kids to college. You are serving a supernatural God that can do supernatural things in your money. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I just believe God. I just believe God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you want to get involved in this tonight. There'll be an usher in the aisle. They'll be willing to help you with an envelope. Amen. Glory to God. I don't know if you can tell, but that's big in me. Amen. There's not anything you can't pay for. There's nothing that you can desire that God can't pay for. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's just, and besides that, you're hooked up to me. You can't fail. It's impossible. Amen. I'm telling you, it's impossible. You, Charles, you can't fail. Better than I know, huh? Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. I, I think about that now. I'm not trying to take too much time. You're writing, but I, I think about that. Some of the things that people have went through. Some, some of the things that, that the enemy tried to bring on some of the members of this church. In, in just the first part of this year. But here we are, still making it, still growing, still thriving, still being blessed. Bills are being paid. Notes are being paid. Things are being taken care of. People, We're a supernatural church full of supernatural people doing supernatural things because we serve a supernatural God. Everything about our life is supernatural. Red Sea might not be opening. We may not see multiplication of loaves and fishes, but we're seeing multiplication of finances. We're seeing favor on every hand. We're seeing the Holy Spirit move and, and, and move in our midst and cause amazing things to happen. Why? Because it's a time of supernatural release, supernatural restoration supernatural recompense you are about to see things you never dreamed you're about to see things you never thought would come to pass in your life because we're in the season of the supernatural glory to God hallelujah Woo! hallelujah 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 glory be to God thank you Lord glory be to God Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. The dancing aisles are open. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Rabase Kerebosa. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a matter of time. Just Remember, God said, God said it was this year that you could say, I hear the sound of abundance and fill in the blank. I hear the sound of abundance of finances. I hear the sound of abundance of health. I hear the sound of an abundance of salvations in my family. It's just a matter of time. The axe head is swimming. The flood is coming. The victory's on the way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 
Come on, where's our ushers? Come on tonight. Hallelujah. As, as soon as the ushers are in place, just come rejoicing. Hallelujah. It's your time for your thing from your God. It's your time. 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 Victory, victory. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Remember when by. What's that? If you can't catch it, there was 11. A little over a month ago, there's no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're 11. There's one left. And it's about to fall off. Hallelujah. Steve went to the doctor last month. Skin cancer's on him. He said, he said, there's one left. And it's about to fall off. Glory to God. And those knees are still healed. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Shh. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. My God, my God, my God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah.
spiritual supply and joy is your bucket. Come on, let your bucket down into your supply. Hey, 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 You came in here weak emotionally. You came in here weak spiritually. You came in here weak physically. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. 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 <laughs> a blind man's eye and told him to go wash in the pool that he couldn't see his way to find it. And the spirit of the Lord is leading us to dance. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. about bring the Levites. Tell them to put the sticks through the rings, carry my presence in on their shoulders. But David, he was so excited about the presence of God coming back into his house that they and the Levites picked up the Ark of Covenant and put it on their shoulders and David said, wait a minute. We can't make an inch of a move forward until we give an offering to the Lord. And he slew a buck, a bullock, and he began to dance. And then he said, stop right here. Stop, stop. certain distance and David stopped and he said wait a minute they're following him with the presence of God he said wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute give me another bullock 
and he slew some more blood and he started dancing again. tonight I want you to lay aside everything that you think about you look like when you dance because it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks what you look like when you dance you're not dancing to impress anybody you're not dancing for anybody to see how much rhythm you have you're dancing because the presence of God is visiting your house It just needs a push. 
it just needs that push. Hallelujah. Joy is strength. Rejoice in the Lord. Joy is strength. Rejoice in the Lord. Joy is strength. Rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If you are in this place today and there is a financial limitation on you can't dance the way you need to dance in that row. You can't abandon God and let your praise show in that row. Come on up here and jump and dance and rejoice. It's your presence, Lord. It's your presence we're rejoicing about. It's your presence we're so thrilled about, Lord. It's your presence. It's your presence in our finances we're so thankful for. Thank you, Lord. 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 Help me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, right here. In Jesus' name. Oh, oh, oh. Fire, shut up in her bones. Fire, shut up in her bones. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 exceeding abundantly above all you could ask or think, exceeding, exceeding, exceedingly, abundantly. Jesus. Money does come to Barbara Sheffield. Money does come to Barbara Sheffield. Money does come to Barbara Sheffield. Because God has access to your life. In the name of Jesus. Whoa, Shakaba Bahaya. Kedarete. Etereda Bahaya. Limits break. Every limit be removed in the name of Jesus. Ushaba Brahaya. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. With the increase comes a new mindset. You will no longer see yourself poor. You will no longer see yourself in lack. You're going to see yourself overflowing. Hallelujah. 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 No more limits. No more limits. No more limits in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every fear be broken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. Supply, 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 supply. <laughs> All that God has done is just to get you back to a place of wholeness. Because before you couldn't hold what he's about to pour into your life. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Light shining, light shining upon the path, light shining, light shining upon the path. No more seeing dark paths, no more seeing a hard way. From this day forward, you look for improvement in Jesus' name. Look for the increase. Look for the in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. No more darkness. Cleanliness. Hallelujah. 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 Kedede kosho kotororo bara bahaya. Kesedede adararara bara bahaya. Kedede adararara bara bahaya. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, let that vision be clear and expand. <laughs> clear, 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 clear. Kiridi abrebe ahara bahaya. Medo rebe re yara barabe re yara barabahaya. Kiridi rebe re re yara barabahaya. In the name. Specifically, can you pray? I like did something. I don't know. My hand strained a lot, but my. In the name of Jesus, be healed. I command you be restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Emoma elevare amba e kedavare amboro bahaya. Iri di viri araba. Era ra 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 mo kosoro bara bara bahaya bara bahaya. Hallelujah. You came here with a bunch of twisted thoughts, and God has one by one taken every piece of yarn and straightened it out, and He's began weaving things together for you. He's going to show you the fullness of what he's about to bring you into. All of the straightening out. And Jesus. Isha ko ibo ramba akasi te ararabahaya. Erararaba kasha kata rararabahaya. Eraramba raba kaso kata ndarabahaya. Eraramba raba hai. Just as if it never happened. Just as if it never happened. God is able to return you just as if it just as if it never happened. Don't you give up on that. Don't you compromise that. Don't you let anything muddy the water of that reflection that you see. Just as if it never happened. Better health than you had before this fight began. In the name of Jesus, I release my faith for her mind to stay clear and her emotions to be under control of her spirit. You think bigger. You think bigger. It never happened. Just as it never happened. In Jesus' name. 
in Jesus' name. God's a healer. Jesus is your healer. He said, I want to with all of my heart. I want to with all of my heart. In the name of Jesus, I command every disc to be made whole. Return to a place of wholeness in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Kedabako. Kelerete. Kadabako. Leberoba. Eshtam Rambedi Ambolo Boko Masi Bramba Ia Bramba Rebe Ambahaya. Nibidi Vitom Braba Eko Shokotoro Barabahaya. Idividi Tom Brambara Koso Korobarambara Bahaya. In the name of Jesus, strength. Strength and spiritual supply. It's not the natural supply, it's the spiritual supply you've been looking for. Spiritual supply. Lord, everything I have as a wife, I impart it to her. Everything I have as a mother, I, I share it with her, Lord. And everything I have as a woman of God, I share it with her now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 Take it. I take it right now in Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Lord, for her years of faithfulness to me as a woman of God, I pray for multiplication of favor in her life. God, for the desires of her heart to be made real. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And there have been things, limitations, that you felt were of your own making. But the Holy Spirit wants to bring a boldness and a courage, and it will seem as those limitations never existed in the name of Jesus supply of your spirit supply of your spirit hallelujah 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 there's a lot of things you've held in your heart. There's a lot of things that you've desired to walk in. But natural responsibilities seem And it's going to start with you seeing yourself as a mighty woman of God. In the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You've, you've left the realm of that couldn't be me. And God wants you to move your inner of, well, maybe. I want that to be me want to have that you've got to desire it so you can walk in it in the name of Jesus supernatural hope and desire in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 
que ese de roba o va esta roba allá. Pastor Tony, I'm just going to obey the Lord. Kenneth Copeland stood in Nancy Dufresne's pulpit at the beginning of this year, and he was talking about entering into impossible things, and he was talking to that church about entering into a, a, a 10,000 seat auditorium paid for. And he was talking about, and then he. And this is how you come out of debt. And this is how you buy things for cash. And this is how, and he went through all these different things. This is how you get your body healed. And all of a sudden, Brother Copeland did something I've never seen him do. He started doing this, and he did his hair like this, and he danced all over like this, all over the stage. And when we were there, the people who had been at Pastor Nancy's meetings before said, I've never seen her dance so much as she has danced since that day, Brother Copeland said. And I have not been the fact that I need to tell you that's the way to get into those things that seem impossible for you to get into. That's the way for you to get into it in a supernatural way that happens a lot faster than anybody will ever be able to explain. And if you will allow, and I'm not saying to do it here, you let the Holy Spirit get on that, that get that stirring and dance before the Lord because that's the way we get into because it needs to be said I want to declare because this needs to be said I am dancing and as I am dancing I am seeing this building and the Little Rock building full of Hispanic faces in our Hispanic services we will have restoration we will have restoration we will have restoration
something change in Jesus' name. I know I cannot be the same. I got the power. I got the power inside of me. Yeah. Jesus said when he ascended you'd be endued with power from on high oh Jesus said when he you'd be endued with power from on high I got the power I got the power I got the power inside of me there is no more inside of me I got the power I got the power I got the power inside of me hallelujah whatever it came to you tonight I said whatever has been lacking I know it came to you tonight you got the power you got the power you got the power inside of you you got the power you got the power you got the power inside of you come on now Hallelujah. This is not something brand new. This is that that was promised to you. Because Joel said in the last day, you got the power. You got the power inside of you. You got the power. You got the power, you got the power inside of you. Hallelujah. Now he's got one more thing to say. Hallelujah. We want him to have his way. When I start moving, oh, you might dance. When I start shifting, you might go in a trance. You might speak in tongues or prophesy. Whatever it is, it comes from inside. You got the power. You got the power. You got the power inside of you you got the power you got the power you got the power it's My God, my God, woo, woo, <laughs> don't 
Don't get in a hurry. Just let me move. Don't get in a hurry. Get in my groove. Don't get in a hurry. You got the power. You got the power. You got the power inside of you. You got the power. You got the power. You got the power inside of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! I believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Now, I think this goes without saying, but we're going to refrain from giving our vision tonight. Hallelujah. I want you to understand something. This is one of those moments that has been building up and building up. And here's why. You've been feeding yourself with the word. You've been seeking God. Do you remember what he said? He said this was going to start happening towards the end of April. He said by summer we would see it. That three days of glory are going to usher it in. We are, listen, we're not just Pentecostal. We're on the edge and on the verge of what God said we were going to be at the forefront of. This is that that God has promised us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Woo. I believe God. Hallelujah. So before we embark for our homes tonight why don't you look at your neighbor and tell him with all the Holy Spirit zeal you have I believe that you received what you've been asking for tonight tonight hallelujah God bless you God bless you God bless you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Woo! We'll be back Sunday. God bless you. Hallelujah.